When exactly did you get the impression that I was a world-class idiot? It couldn't have been during the hearing when I buffed the floor with that fat-free body of yours. Now, Miss Delgado, mm. I've always had nothing but the utmost respect for you. <laughs> Which is why you're showing up on my doorstep in nothing but a towel. I just explained why I'm here. Yeah, you did. And I'm not buying it. It's a pity. You even waxed your chest for me. Wow. Yeah, for the cause. Oh, well, hey, oh, relax, lady. Oh, I'm relaxed, guy. In fact, I'm so relaxed, I'm not going to call security and tell them you tried to bust into my room and snatch my briefcase. Why would I want to snatch your case? For the same reason your client stole it. My client just wants to see his kid. Can we negotiate here? Why should I negotiate when I'm holding all the cards? Are you sure about that, Taya? <clears throat> There's nobody out there that can tell me where you stashed that kid. You don't have to be here. Yes, I know. I want to be here. Well, it's not like we were in the best place before all this happened. But we were talking. Mm-hmm. About Taya. Mm -hmm. You feeling just a little bit guilty there, Todd? Because hmm? <laughs> maybe you knew you should have listened to what I said. Yeah, you know what should have well, happened? You should have stayed the hell away from her, not getting involved with her. She's tough. Yeah, that's why you like her. I don't like seeing you hurt this way. Unless you're doing the hurting. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm sitting here with you. I'm trying to be nice. Thanks, buddy. The mother of my kids, I care about you. Right. You know, there was supposed to be someone here who what? was going to help me help you get better. That was the plan, anyway. See what's going on. There you are. About time. Jared tell you that he'd lied to you. At the station? How'd you know? He uh, started to tell me at the station, but we didn't get a chance to finish the conversation, so we did when he got home. Look, the thing is, John, I don't think, I don't think that he could have done this. But you, you said he confessed. He started to, but, but I can't imagine that he would do this to us. on the wire. Oh, my God! You guys are going to hunt him down? Help us find him, Natalie. Tell us where he is. Tell us what happened. You mean give evidence against him? Hey, you know, I agree with you. There's a lot of this that just doesn't add up. And I've seen you two together. It's clear he loves you. He does. I know he does. But he admitted to you that that he's involved and I can only assume that he got in over his head and now you need to help us help him come in I'm not testifying against him all we're trying to do is find him okay all right um, for what it's worth he did say that he did it that he uh, had been in contact with Landers that they planned this whole thing, and um, he was able to give the information to Landers of what he needed to stalk Jessica, and he got him into BE. But why? Why would he do this? John just said it. He loves you. What could he stay in the game by going after your sister? I wish I knew. Gregory Evans. He's awake. Who is this? Destiny. Sean's awake. 
What are you talking about? He woke up. I was with him and he opened his eyes. Death. That happens sometimes. He talked to me. He hugged me. He's awake. You've got to get over here. He's asking for you. I'm on my way. Hurry. I'll call Rachel. No, no, I'll do that from the car. Just have the nurse page the doctor and give mom and dad a call, okay? Got it. All right. What happened? That was my sister. She's at the hospital. Is she okay? No, she's overjoyed. She says, uh, Sean's awake. What? Sean's out of the coma. She says he's awake. So he's okay. He survived. That's what she's saying. Yeah. Oh, my God. Greg, that's a miracle. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. We're not going home? No. Not for a while. So what's your plan? You're going to strand me on an island somewhere? Lock me in a dungeon? No, we just wanted to give you a little more time to think things through. So what, you're going to lock me up until I agree with you? Look, every day I wait, I lose muscle. What don't you understand about that? I have to have this surgery now. It, can't, it cannot wait any longer. It's going to have to. Honey, I did some research on Dr. Nance. Now, I, I know that Dr. Evans has great faith in him, and someday I'm sure he's going to be a terrific surgeon. But he just finished his surgical residency three years ago. So what? So the procedure that you need to have, do you know how many times he's done it? Twice. That's it. Twice. And the results? One of the patients, there was no change. And the other patient only regained a little bit of feeling in their legs, just a little. I mean, this is no miracle. You're making this up. Oh, son, we're telling you the truth. You just can't admit that you're wrong. That, that the judge, my doctors, my lawyers, that they're just as smart as you and just as educated. But they're not your parents. So that gives you the right to lock me in a wheelchair? No, we just thought you needed a change of scenery. What does that mean? We, we found a new school for you. Where? London. <laughs> 